what are my top three counter movement and non counter movement movement lower body plow metrics that I like to use and for what reason so this is Lechi underscore Wil Wilkinson so my top three I mean I don't have like a set three but I'll give you these so I, obviously the easiest one would be a box jump that's either counter movement or non counter movement really the reason why is because especially with fighters and, and just athletes in general, um, they're getting beat up a lot, right? Their body's getting beat up. So when you, you're able to produce force from the ground and then as you jump up, it lessens the force being generated down on the joints. Um, I like that just from a performance standpoint, obviously you're increasing rate of force, you're increasing the stretch shortening cycle depending on if you're counter movement or non counter movement. It works on lower body explosive power because you're having to recruit maximal motor units and fire efficiently with high force but high velocities. So definitely a box jump. Um, the one thing that I will say is again, and I, and I, I don't have to probably reemphasize this, but don't go to a box that is too high to where you're not even actually jumping on the box, you're pulling your knees up as high as you possibly can and turning it into some crazy deep squat position or whatever. You wanna be able to jump and land in the same position, okay? So just know that. All right, the next one is gonna be a seated box jump. And the reason why I like that for a, for a non-counter movement is because that does work with creating rate of force, right? So being able to create force from a static to dynamic and um, that allows us to kind of situate the body in the right position especially with the young athletes, we can put them in that position and teach them how to create force first um, after they've had the ability to absorb force. So that's, that's another um, good, good exercise that I like to use when you're talking about progressions of plow metrics. Okay, last one is gonna be hurdle hops. Um, the reason why I like hurdle hops, this is more for reactive strength. This is also, um, could be good for one step jumps too as well. So if you've got basketball players, if you have young kids, um, and you also want to compete a little bit too. I found that that's fun to do with a lot of my guys and they want to see how high they can jump up and and again you just go after it, right? So it's 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 um it's low risk high reward and I would say it's very easy to do, right? You don't need a whole lot of room. You don't need a whole lot of uh, equipment Obviously you just need a couple of hurdles and you're going after it. So it's easy to progress too as well. So that's those are my three